New for Softimage 2014 is a small but very useful feature that allows you to override anything to do with components built through ICE. This can be particles, deformations, ICE modeling, crowd effects, you name it. The whole point of this is shown here in this scene with uh, a particle simulation. I've got a little basic fire simulation here that uh, someone started in this, uh, in this dumpster in this little derelict uh, back alley. And in comp, we would likely want to be able to separate our particle fire and treat it separately from our background. If we have a look at my explorer, I've got a uh, single pass right now called the back alley pass. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, isolate the fire into its own render pass. Uh, first of all, what I'll do is I'll take the particle cloud. Let's just open up a second explorer here, access the scene, open up the fire model, and I'll extract the uh, point cloud and create a new partition in this back alley pass. I'll just call it my fire partition. And I'll hide it. So there we go. We've uh, separated the seen from the fire for at least this render pass and I'll create a second empty render pass and we'll call this our fire pass and in this case here I might want to run uh, a number of different uh, test wedges for example or, or try out a bunch of different versions of the fire so for that I'm going to again just isolate the fire so we'll grab the background well actually we'll grab the fire in this case We'll partition it off and we'll hide the background partition so we have the fire uh, isolated. Uh, now what I want to do in this case is perhaps change up the seed value of these uh, uh, of this fire. Uh, this could be useful if you're working with the director and you, you know you need to get that certain look for your fire or maybe you want to render off a couple different versions with different rates for doing embers and things like that. So easy enough to do we'll uh, open up the partition containing our fire We'll drop an override onto that partition, get property override, and then we just need to dig around on the point cloud to find the attributes we want to override. So in this case, I'm going to go in and look on the ice tree into its descendant nodes, uh, find the compound that I want to uh, override attributes for, and if I look under the exposed ports for this uh, particular simulation, I might want to be able to turn off the fire, uh, control the size of the particles, let's say the rate of the particles, and uh, as well as the seed. So that should be enough to give me a couple of different looks. I'll just uh, bring them into my override here. And now if I duplicate this fire pass, I'll select the fire pass, duplicate it, I can make a couple different versions. So we'll call this fire pass uh, embers. And we'll try a couple of little wedges as well too. So I'll duplicate the fire pass again. So we'll call this fire pass uh, wedge one. Maybe we want to have a, a high particle count for this one. I'll duplicate it again and we'll have a test for let's say wedge 2. This way you can iterate over a, a number of different versions until you settle on the one that you're most happy with. So let's say for the embers uh, render pass, I'll just switch over to the embers render pass here and access the partition containing my fire and its override. Perhaps I'll just take the count down to something like you know, 150 and if I hit play now, you know, we've got kind of a light little embers look. And if I bring back my background partition that contains the environment, just so you can kind of see how that works, you know, we kind of have a little embers look. Maybe what I want to also do on that override is take the size down. So if I do something like that, let's press play again, we have some smaller particles. And if I then switch over to my next render pass, let's call this wedge one, where the count has uh, been reset back to its state of, uh, I guess, uh, 5,000 particles per second, perhaps we just want to get a couple of different variations on this. So if I have a look at my wedge and I open up the override containing the, uh, the, the seed, I'll just go in here, just change the random seed value, and already we're going to get uh, a slightly different behavior. I can again repeat that process for the different wedges, I'll check out wedge 2 open up the partition containing the override and again just by changing the seed value and perhaps increasing the particle count for this render pass we can then settle on the, uh, the particular look we want. Just again unhide the background partition so you can kind of see this in context. There we go. 
And so we have our little embers test. We have our test containing our first wedge here. and our second. Just switch over to that one, switch render passes, and now we get uh, a slightly different look with more particles. This one having 10,000 particles. So you can see how useful working with these overrides can be. Um, the sky's the limit, it's just up to you to figure out what you want to do with them. So there you have it, uh, overrides on ice, new for Softimage 2014.